Hi, I'm Jim from Mercedes-Benz. I'm going to show you how to set up the garage door opener in your vehicle. It will take a few minutes to program your car to work with your existing garage or gate opener, but once it's done, using it is as easy as pushing a button. To get started, you'll need your handheld remote that already opens your garage. It's a good idea to put in fresh batteries too. And of course, make sure nothing's in the way of the garage door when it operates. There are two types of garage and gate openers, fixed code systems and rolling code systems. Fixed code systems use the same code every time you press the button. These are the easiest to program. Rolling code systems are typically found on newer garage door openers, and they use a new code every time you press the button. They help prevent thieves from cloning your remote over the airwaves. To program these, there's a training button on the opener in your garage. You'll need to be able to reach this button while we program the car. No matter what type of opener you have, you might want to start by clearing all three of the buttons on the rear view mirror in your car. If you already have a button that works another door and you want to keep it, skip this step. To erase the program in all three buttons, turn on the ignition until all the dashboard warning lights come on. You don't need to start the engine. Then press and hold the first and third buttons on the mirror for about 20 seconds. Now all three buttons are cleared of any program. If you ever sell your car, you'll want to do this again. Whether you have a fixed or rolling code system, programming the button in the car is the same. Start by pressing and holding the button you want to program. When the indicator on the mirror lights up yellow, release the button. The indicator will now flash. Now, hold your handheld remote within one to six inches of the mirror. Press the button on the remote and hold it until the indicator on the mirror either lights up green or flashes green. This could take up to 25 seconds. So if it doesn't take, or if it lights up red, try it again with the remote in different positions. If the indicator turns green without flashing, this means you have a fixed code system and the process is complete. You can now open and close the garage or gate by pressing the button on the mirror. Give it a try. If the indicator flashes green, it means you have a rolling code system. The button in the car is now programmed, but we'll need to synchronize the car and your opener so they can keep up with the changing codes. Find the training button, or smart button, on the opener in your garage and press it. Within 30 seconds, return to your car. Press the button on the mirror for two seconds, then release it for two seconds. Repeat this up to three times until it operates the garage door. When the door works, it means the button is now trained. To program the other buttons to operate other doors or gates, just repeat the procedure. But don't start by clearing all three buttons, or you'll erase what we just did. And that's it. Now you can open and close your garage just by pressing the button. For your security, the buttons only work when the ignition is on. For more information, please see your operator's manual. If you have questions or need assistance, your Mercedes-Benz dealer will be happy to help. Thanks for watching.